Hello. Today I'm going through the features of the fiddle. First of all, the fiddle loads up ready to play with a quick responsive legato. We can add automatic harmony. The master key control sets the key for the harmonies. Here, you can set different styles for the harmony. Bluegrass is designed to simulate double stops where a fiddle player plays two strings at the same time. This button gives us repetitions. We can have harmony and repetitions. Now these can be controlled with key switches as well, so you can mix things up a bit. Let's take a closer look at the legato. The fiddle uses bow change transitions at higher key velocities and portamento or slides at lower velocities. You can control the split point here. The default is set to 30, so anything below a key velocity of 30 will give you a slide between notes. You can see the color of the bow animation change to blue with slides. You may have noticed that something else is happening here. We have non-vibrato notes playing at lower velocities, which we discovered really seems to add to realism, especially with bluegrass styles. You can control the vibrato's velocity split point here. If you turn this all the way down, you'll just have vibrato. Let's talk about vibrato. The fiddle has both vibrato and non-vibrato sustains. This, of course, means that the vibrato is baked in and cannot be manually controlled. There are three different velocity zones in the sustains, so you will hear the natural vibrato intensity changing with the different key velocities. Now, we could have recorded only non-vibrato samples and artificially created the vibrato to give a level of control, but we found that much of the feeling in the samples themselves was lost. Since we're on sustains, you have a choice of looped sustains, where you can hold a note indefinitely, or natural sustains, where a note plays a single bow stroke from beginning to end. Other controls on the bottom panel are for the tremolo articulation, where the speed can be controlled with this knob or synced to a note value. Click on this little icon and you'll see buttons for the different articulations with their key switches right below, and you can change the key switches by clicking on them. These buttons override all other settings and they're mainly included for someone who wants to set the instrument to a single articulation. While we're here, let's go through the articulations. We have up and down grace notes. Harmony works well with these articulations too, so I can use the harmony key switch as well as the articulation key switch. up and down grace notes with quick slides. A quick slide, or a scoop. I should mention that the whole step or half step intervals in these articulations depend on where you have the master key dial set. There are up and down trills. Staccato, and tremolo. If you have some of our other libraries, you might be wondering what happened to our key velocity articulation system. Well, it's still there. Click on these buttons to activate the high and low key velocity zones. So now we've got grace note slides at high velocities and staccato at low velocities. 
You can change the split points with these arrows. And everything in the middle section between is sustains. Legato if the legato button is on. These menus allow you to select the articulations for the velocity zones. On the legato and repetition buttons, you'll see little eye icons, which open up controls for these features. Let's look at legato first. Here, you can tweak the legato settings. For the most part, the default settings should do fine, but these controls are here if you need them. There are separate controls for bow change and portamento transitions. There is actually a third legato transition, quick slurs that are set above the portamento and below the bow change velocity zones. This controls the split point between the slurs and bow change layers. Now let's look at the repetitions. Click on the little eye icon to show the patterns. There are six preset locations, four of which are programmed and two are left empty. Pulling down from the center line gives you a down bow, and up gives you an up bow. Pulling a down bow below this little orange line gives you a scoop. There are controls for strength, the number of steps, note resolution for syncing to your project, and note length. Here's the global settings button. Here we have controls for instrument key velocity and expression response. If you want your mod wheel to control volume, change this to a 1. Here you can set note values for grace notes and trills. You can have the auto harmony play a harmonized legato transition sound when using legato, or play a straight harmony note. It depends on the part you're playing. Is the fiddle player sliding notes on two strings, or only one while the other string stays on the same note? Leaving this off works in most cases. This just changes the intervals and the articulations to give a slightly bluesier sound. That just leaves a reverb send and volume controls for releases and harmony. Well, that about covers it. The fiddle does require the full version of Contact and is not Contact Player compatible. Thank you for listening to me ramble on about the fiddle.